So this is a bit of a challenging equation. We have NO2 and H2O, and that's giving us this HNO3 plus NO. Let's add the atoms up on each side. We have one nitrogen, we have two oxygens here, plus we have this one here. So we have three oxygens and then the two hydrogens. Over on the product side, we have one nitrogen plus this other nitrogen right there. That gives us two of those. Three oxygens plus the one, that gives us four oxygens, and then we have just one hydrogen. I think I'll start out by balancing the hydrogens here and see what that does to the rest of the equation. So if I put a coefficient of two in front of the HNO3, I have one times two. That'll give me two hydrogen. Those will be balanced. Then I need to update these numbers here. So now I have nitrogens one times two. That gives me two plus the one over here. So I have three nitrogens and oxygens. Three times two is six plus this one oxygen here. So I have seven oxygens. Hmm. Why don't we balance the nitrogens next and see what happens to the oxygens? So I need three nitrogens. I'll put a coefficient of three. So I have one times three. That'll give me three nitrogens. And then let's update our oxygens. So I have two times three. That's six oxygens plus the one right here. And that gives me seven. And this equation is balanced. So in this case, it was kind of helpful to leave the oxygens till last, and that's often the case. This is Dr. B with a balanced equation for NO2 plus H2O, and thanks for watching.